so hey what's up guys this side rm and you watching a trick readers youtube channel so in this video we gonna see the review of banana droid os which is having the best ever update over this redmi note 10 pro and it's got an official build so let us see what is being in this what is here rom and so without wasting a further ado, let's get started before starting i would like to tell if you really consider custom home videos then you can subscribe to my channel without any issues so let's get started so first of all i would like to share and talk about the smoothness of this room so if you see that i am on the 60 hertz i know it supports 120 hertz but you can see that i am on 60 hertz and the animation quite well no stucking and lag that i have found so far everything opens flawlessly if you if i just enable cross open any application it is working fine no issues that i have faced so far after all i would like to talk about if i generally enable what do you say 120 hertz display and which means the super smoothness of this device and from here you can see that i have uh, disabled uh, 60 hertz and enabled 120 hertz and now you can see that the opening closing animation of any application what do you say no stutter lag that you have found in the qs panel you can see this no issues that you will face so in terms of smoothness this rom is performing outstanding so you can use this rom according for your smoothness if you really want if you don't want to use 120 hertz you can also get the smoothness on what do you say 60 hertz now talking about what customizations you are getting in this custom room so first of all i would move through the customizations option via settings so here's the banana gear is given and here is you can customize your stages bar i have checked all the customizations option every customization option is working if you generally enable combined signal icon it will slightly turn off your screen and after uh, turning off it will enable your screen down you can enable colored icons and you can see it will totally get affected and there is much more option i'm not going to that detail because if i'll go the video will go long no one will watch and it is spoiled for use in the quick settings you nothing more has been added so that is all around fine i can say here's the gesture navigation you get the gesture navigations option with you can customize few of customizations had been given in the gesture navigations up a part of anything i hadn't faced any issues in this what is in the notif notification you get the force stop button toast app icon button you can select if i have generally cleared on if to clear the notification i have just selected the this recycle bin you can also select what you want like eraser uh trash bin you can select and you can just do it right now apart from that everything looks and feels so much fine you get the reticker and is the ambient display you can always show in time info if i just disable you can see that it is working fine apart from that edge lighting is there you can enable and this will work fine in this and i have done with the lock screen about that and now let's go into themes so I am considering this custom ROM video because of this is only Android 13 based custom ROM which is getting monet engine and the monet engine is working fine. You can see that when I enable that it will get affected on the video. So it is working fine but I don't like monet engine and themed icon and there is a quite a bug or what do you say if I generally want to enable the themed icon and if I go in the wallpaper and style you can see that the themed icon is not working. So that's a bug you get the ui style you can if you change that like paste leggers and if you back you will see some changes over there so i have you can set the clear theme also if you select that it will get instantly affected so here's the L lock screen clock font you can like i have selected this because i like this and you can also select like these there is much more is given out you can use this according to your preference but i gonna like this so that's why i put that in the lock screen this is a new customizations that you are getting first of all that is ls clock style and for ui style is the new one and the icon shape as usual is given there not a much thing here's the miscellaneous comes out you get the wake up on charge charge animation i am not able to play games because i don't know how to play these games but you get the higher fps in games apart from that there is an unlimited photo storage which is working or not i will tell you later part and the netflix poof is there so, so now this is all the customization part that i have covered so far and the one bug that i encountered so that i did now this is the benchmark and uh, what do you say 
all the throttling tests that I have done in this one Android OS over the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And guys, if you are on the latest MIUI 13.0.9, please remove that MIUI version because my friend has downgraded, uh, upgraded to that MIUI and his ultra wide camera stopped working. So you can anyhow change the custom change to the custom pro. This is the what you say, uh, Netflix. Uh, playback specification and you're getting L1 certification no HDR capabilities so you don't think that you will getting that safety net is being passed and uh, those who are asking about unlimited photo storage you can see that the unlimited photo storage is available so you can see that this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge so you are getting these things also and apart from that this is a geekbench score which i took without any performance profiles and this is go good this is a slingshot extreme test that is works fine and it gave 57.40 g fps which is according to this processor 732 g which is good this is uh, uh, some of the, my battery usage and the battery is too good in this room i can consider this room as battery best battery and best smoothness providing room and this is the only room in which I am getting my full download and upload speeds in this room. So you can consider the room also. This is the Android 2 scores that I have received so far. I'm not happy with the Android 2 scores. And apart from that, everything I have got covered. Now, let's talk about in, in UI settings field and what you are getting. So first of all, if you open the settings, you get this Redmi Note 10 Pro written. And this is the about section. If you click on here, this is the Android version here is written. You can select and get this swing what do you say android 13 easter egg and this is quite good so you can see this apart from that you're getting fifth january update with the kernel version is sleepy is you being used and still stresses is enforcing if you clock click on the chain locks you get this bunch of chain locks yeah this is gone a heavy chain lock so i will not gonna read if you want to read you can pause the video and you can read just down here i am sliding like you can read and I also give in the description box. You can do check out from there. And the maintainer is de-jumped. So huge shout out to him. And this is the official with the G-Apps version. Now, uh, if you talk about any in issues with the network internet, I haven't faced so far. Uh, with the applications, you got to see that default apps is Banana Home Launcher. And the Banana Home and Evolution X Launcher is same, but two different custom rooms so each average settings being copied with each other so nothing to talk about more uh, use taskbar is there but if i generally enable taskbar there is a lag in the what do you say gesture so i will not gonna recommend this to use so far and you can see that there is a lag for that and no options is there for now talking about thermal profiles you can check out but I am not going to suggest you because I have checked many of the times but thermal profiles did not getting so much good results. If you get the kernel profiles per app refresh rate you can arrange but I don't think so that is a good customization. Yeah many people do consider it but I don't. Apart from that in the display I already talked about all the customizations nothing is new over there wallpaper style already one bug i mentioned no themed icon support is there in this room for the security i have set up face and fingerprint both so that is working you can see that i can enable and disable uh, device with this and here is the all this option system you get live translate and languages input you get the app languages support Mo not much but yeah we they have upgraded to this app languages support and guys if you're still watching the videos please subscribe because it doesn't really cost you anything but it really motivates me to create an awesome content and also subscribe for much more content of this type so this is all about you get a pre-enabled developer option you can check that out if you are using developers you are not getting any of this sort of updater from here you need to flash manually you can either join what's uh, the telegram uh, channel or my telegram channel for the updates of the banana droid room over this so i have took so far if you ask me about this uh, what is right with the play store no issues that i have faced so far the l1 everything is working you can consider using bank accounts in this device the upi working is also there but if you have lots of money in your bank account i'm not gonna recommend this room or any sort of room you will have to be on the stock miui what do you say meme ui 
so this is all for now what i can recommend that you are getting dolby atmos support both and the dolby atmos scripts if you are about to ask me about the camera you are getting the leica camera and there is a tons of customizations mean available for the uh, leica if you want to get the uh, all the customizations detailed you will uh, comment me in the comments box i will make a video on that so thanks for watching the videos till then please subscribe and Stay safe.